Hello, my name is Erica. I am the millennial. Hi, I'm Angie, the Gen Z. Okay, so Angie, what story do you have for us today? I know we said I was going to choose, but have I been choosing? No, because no, I, I like to revoke your right to I choose. I just go with the flow, I guess, at this point. Angie just told me what I'm going to listen to. Yeah. What we're going to listen to. Well, what you're going to listen to? Because I already know the story. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm just going to reread it. Okay, yeah, I'm expecting greatness then. Yes. All day, every day now, from now on, because cause you know what's best, right? Oh, sure do. <laughs> I'm, I'm the ma- I'm not the master, but like I'm more experienced in this field than you are. You're more educated than I am. Yes, I am. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay then, Angie. Do you have any questions actually about this story? How long did it take you to brainstorm and say, "Oh, this is a story Erica should listen to today"? Mm. Why this story today? Well, it's like kind of it's kind of like not like yesterday's story. Well, kind of it's like. You, you grew up watching Mickey Mouse, right? I did, yes. Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. Well, hence the name of the story, Suicide Mouse. Oh, that's the story we're listening to today? Mm-hmm. It's kind of like Suicide I Squidward. do not know anything about it. <laughs> so I'm excited. <laughs> what? You look so excited. I was like, she knows. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know. I don't know. Sorry, I don't know. It's okay. It's okay. Um, But yeah, this is creepypasta... Um, I mean, it's one of my favorites. I guess it, I don't really can. Conf- well, I I guess it is pretty popular amongst the community of the creepypasta community. I don't know what I did. The community. You the guys community. have a community now. Creepypasta. Yeah, there's been a community. Oh, there's been a community. Yes. Okay. How dare you? Okay, sorry. I didn't realize. Um, I'm gonna ask Nano no, about it later. See if he's part of that community. Com- community. Community. Okay. Ooh. Sounds good. But yeah, I get. Um, it's. It's it's kind of like, oh, from what I remember, it's kind of like a lost episode, as well, because you remember Suicide Squidward, right? Like how it was a lost episode. Yeah. This one supposedly as well as a lost episode, but it's like a DVD, because mm-hmm. it was like um, you know, back in 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 the olden days where they were like in black and white. Yeah. That's basically kind of like how how it looks like. Uh, a fan made video. I don't know if it's fan made actually. I think it is. But there's a fan-made video of the DVD, supposedly. In black and white? Mm-hmm. Girl, there's no DVDs in black and white. If anything, if you would say VHS or something, I would believe you. Well, but DVDs, no. Girl, I don't Some, know. Somebody I, just probably got it from the internet, right? They're both right? the same to me. Yeah. Girl, what do you mean they're both the same to you? <laughs> I remember when we were younger. I remember we had it when or Blockbuster was still up and uh, up and I running. I remember Blockbuster. Girl, we were going like we would go out every weekend when like my dad or like a Friday, and then we would just like get DVDs like or not DVDs. We still have we would get we would get the, the the VHS. We still have the movie. And then right? I remember we had this little car that when you put the VHS in there, it would rewind it for you, or else you have to rewind it manually. Mm-hmm. Or you or you would rewind it with the actual like VHS player. But I remember I remember we had all the Disney collections. Me Girl. too. I remember that. Girl. I remember. We could have sold that if we, if we like, at this point, like, because that, that's worth money. It. That's worth money. That's, like, it's gold, like, right now, like. I mean, yeah, but, like, I remember there was a bright orange one, and it was a Rugrats one. For, yeah. It's mm-hmm. for Nickelodeon, like, mm-hmm. the Nickelodeon remember, orange uh, color. I remember I would play with it. I would unwind it and then unwind it again. Like, I would unwrap it and then wrap it. Because, you know, like, when you have to, like, there's, like, something in the little, like, white circles there. Yeah. On the, on the VHS. Yeah. That you like. Sometimes I, w- like, I would open the top of it and not actually touch the film. And I'm pretty too. sure that that was probably the reason why some of the like like movie movies would end up being scratchy because my cause my stubby little fingerprints were on it. Mine too. <laughs> it was yours first and mine. First mine, then yours. Yes, I remember those VHSs. I and then all of a sudden it was all it was all DVDs. I haven't seen a VHS player in a while. Me either. I wonder if they still make them. Probably not. No. Mm. Sad. Anyways, Any- <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay. So the story, of course, is called uh, Suicide Mouse, and it's about Mickey Mouse, a childhood classic for a lot of people. Mm-hmm. Basically, mm-hmm. the Disney logo. Oh yeah, what made Disney what it is now? Yeah. So I'll just get into the story. So do any of you remember those Mickey Mouse cartoons from the 1930s, the ones that were just put out on DVD a few years ago? Well, I, I think they meant VHS, but... Or m- maybe they could have, like, found them and they could have burned it into a CD and make a DVD. It's possible. Anything's possible nowadays. I forgot that was an option back then. You can make a CD. Yeah. Like, how do you... 
Yeah. Anyways, I was gonna ask. From what I know, they used to burn DVD like CDs. Burn like burn mm-hmm. like get information from one to another one. Mm-hmm. And they would burn it. Oh. Especially when when you were trying to make like your own mix tracks, <laughs> like <laughs> like your own music that you want to put in there. Yeah. Oh my god. Okay. And then then they'd be labeled like mixtape, like mixtape or favorite music mm-hmm. with a Z. Z. Yeah. I okay. I, okay. <laughs> Continue. So, well, I hear there is one that was unreleased to even the most classic Disney fans. According to sources, it's nothing special. It's just a continuous loop, like the Flintstones, of Mickey walking past six buildings that goes on for about two or three minutes before fading out. Unlike the QT tunes put in, though, the song on this cartoon was not a song at all. Just a constant banging on a piano for a minute and a half before going to white noise for the remainder of the film. Mm. Omnibus. Omnibus? Omnibus. You mean ominous? (laughs) Omnibus. Omnibus? Yeah. That's what I meant. How special. That's Mm. what it gives. That's what it's giving. It's giving omnibus? It's giving omnibus. Yep. I agree. Me too. Um, no, but yeah, like I said, there is, um, you can watch it on YouTube. Really? Yeah, I remember okay. the first time I watched it, I was kind of traumatized. It's pretty scary to me. Okay, I'll watch it. Even now. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> I, I fangirl a little Anyways. Bit. I need to stop. I need That's a- your word, huh? I need, yeah, anyways. <laughs> anyways. <laughs> okay. It wasn't the jolly old Mickey we've come to love either. Mickey was in dancing, not even smiling. Just kind of walking as if you or I were walking. With the normal facial expression, but for some reason his head tilted side to side as he... As he kept this dismal look. Up until a year or two ago, everyone believed that after it cut to black, that was it. When Leonard Maltin was reviewing the cartoon to be put in the complete series, he decided it was too junk to be on the DVD, but wanted to have a digital copy due to the fact that it was a creation of Walt. When he had a digitalized version up on his computer to look at the file, he noticed something. The cartoon was actually 9 minutes and 4 seconds long. This is what my source emailed to me, in full. He is a personal assistant of one of the higher executives at Disney and acquaintance of Mr. Malton himself. After it cut to black, it stayed like that until the 6 minute before going back into Mickey walking. The sound was different this time. It was a murmur. It wasn't a language, but more like a gurgled cry as the noise got more indistinguishable and loud over the next minute. The picture began to get weird. The sidewalk started to go in directions that seemed impossible based on the physics of Mickey's walking. And the dismal face of the mouse was slowly curling into a smirk. On the seventh minute, the murmur turned into blood curling scream. The kind of scream painful to hear. And the picture was getting more obscure. Colors were happening that shouldn't have been possible at the time. Mickey's face began to fall apart. His eyes rolled on the bottom of his chin like two marbles in a fishbowl. And his curled smile was now pointing upwards on the left side of his face. The buildings became rubble floating in, in midair and the sidewalk was still impossibly navigating in warped directions. A few seeming inconceivable with that we as humans know about. Mr. Malton got disturbed and left the room, sending an employee to finish the video and take notes of everything happening up until the last second and afterwards immediately stored the disc of the cartoon into a vault. What do you think so far? It's a little disturbing, especially if you have this character Mm -hmm. that influences all these children. Mm -hmm. Like, you wouldn't be expecting those kinds of um, facial expressions. And and, and also, like, the soundtrack to it, like, that music paired with the facial expressions, that would probably be really... If that was enough to creep, like, a whole grown man, what do you think, like, a bunch of little children might, like, think about? Think about it? Yeah. Also, um, if you didn't, if you don't remember, it said that it was, like, starting to show colors. So that should be, like, like, basically, physically impossible at that point, point in time, At this right? point, I feel like this tape is probably demonic. Instead of, like, it being edited by a person. Because back then, when it's, when supposedly the tape was made, um, there was no color on TV. And no such thing as, like, that editing, I'm pretty sure kind of editing where you can make um, buildings like warp into like rubbish or I mean rubble and like fly around in the in the screen. Mm-hmm. So that's what I'm thinking. You know what this is this got me thinking of? Mm. 
It's got me thinking of like those time travelers you see on TikTok, supposedly that they're time travelers, mm -hmm. and then they have to go back in time, and then they're back in this time, and then they say all these things that happen. Mm -hmm. It's kind of giving me that, that kind of vibe, but like, what if a time traveler went back and left that tape there or something? Or like, just like some sort of like sick joke? Yeah. Hmm. I, I can see it. Like, I've seen the ones where like, back in like, um, the 19, um, like the 1980s, there was like a guy that was like dressed in like modern clothing right now and he had like a like an iPhone and he was on the call and he was like staring at the camera to get a picture. Dude. I was like, whoa. That's and then crazy. Nobody has ever seen him since. Wow. I know. The time police got him. Probably, I believe that. I believe that there is a time police. Yeah. I believe anything's possible at this time. At this point in time. Yeah. What the heck? Mm. Dang, yeah, so this give me that kind of vibes. But but demonic. You say you you're saying demonic video? Mm-hmm. Mm, for me, I'm saying that because, um, you know, I feel like time travel, well, for me personally, I feel like that's kind of impossible. At this point in time? At this point of time. After you just said you you believe anything is possible? Yeah, but for some reason, I just don't, because, I don't for know, you, it's just weird. But for you, the, the demonic video makes more sense than a time oh, traveler. Oh, yeah, of okay. course, because you hear more about um, demonic energy or demonic entities or just demons in general. And I do believe in that heavily, actually. So I do believe, or it's probably not just, it's probably not demonic. It's probably just something that's not well, considered demonic. Well, it's you just, know, like, malintent. Well, you know, when, when you were talking about this, like, in my head, I was going through and I was thinking, I'm like, well, can an entity stick to, like, a video or something? Or well, like, energy, any object. Energy sticks. And then I thought of um, that one, like, documentary, Demon House, by Zag Beckins, right? Mm -hmm. And I was going to watch it, but then I got scared because in the beginning it says that that um, those evil entities can't stick to, to like a video and actually like be transferred yeah. from that video to, to somebody that that like actually sees it. So like, they, so like they they're basically saying that yes, like if you're watching it through an iPhone or through a TV, it can, like you know, like affect you. And then mm -hmm. weren't weren't they saying that that the last like Conjuring film was like haunted or something? Mm -hmm. So that so 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 like people were saying like oh like I was watching this video like on TikTok they were saying oh I was I was watching the movie and then. And then this happened, or they were, or people were saying, "Oh, great! Like, thanks for telling me this after I already watched it." Mm -hmm. So yeah, I know what you that mean. could kind of make sense like that. Like I, did you know that if you're baptized, nothing bad can happen to you? Though? Well, I mean, it can still happen to you, but they just can't, can't possess, possess you. you. They can't possess you because you're already um, basically claimed by God. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I knew that because that's that was something they talked about when I was when I was in um, confirmation. Yeah, I had no idea. I was like, oh. Thank you. I was I I kind of felt a little bit of relief because I'm like, you know, I've always been so scared of something like that happening, and I'm always like mm -hmm. a big chicken when it comes to that. Like I, I cannot be watching those exorcist movies. Mm -hmm. I mean, I can watch. You know, I I love horror movies. I I love watching Halloween or like me too, or like Friday the Thirteenth. But Chucky. when it comes to something demonic or yes. like spiritual, yes, that's scary. I get what you mean. Yeah, at, at that point, I'm like, I'm not about to mess with that. Like the movie Incantation. Oh yeah, that was actually pretty scary to me. Yeah, it was. Like, like when, like when, when they were saying that, like if you like chant with them or whatever, and you, and you make the hand sign, and then the person was saying, "Do this with me." Like I remember the first time I watched it, I fell asleep. So I was like, "I ain't gonna do that." I fell asleep, you know. And I was mm -hmm. like, "I'm protected." I'm like, "Huh?" And then the <laughs> second time I had seen it on TikTok, they were saying that. So I was like, "No, you're not gonna catch me," because the same time I had to watch it, because mm -hmm. I wanted to rewatch it, because I never mm -hmm. finished it the first time. And I watched it with Julie, and I was like, "Don't, don't do it, Julie. Don't do it." Julie did it. No, she didn't. I know. I was like, "Don't you, Julie." Close your eyes. Come here. <laughs> and we didn't do it. We're like, nah, because we were watching it at her house too. So she's like, I'm not about to play with that. Remember, I watched it at her house too. Yeah, I was there. Like, you were there. With yeah, so we're yeah. we're like, we're not about to play with this. I think the thing three door and Nano were like messing around with that, and then they were like, I'm gonna do it. Mm -hmm. I'm like, don't you dare. I was just watching. Not about to take that evil back mm -hmm. home. Mm -hmm. I. What the heck was I gonna say? That's why it's always best to like bless your house whenever yeah. or like cleanse it like if you don't believe in blessing it like mm -hmm. cleansing it at least with like sage or something yeah. you know or if, um, you, if you are religious get if like you a father are, yeah or like a priest to come and cleanse your house yeah it's always best to do it like every once in a while you mm -hmm. know whenever you can just to like clean your energy out of it yeah or clean like whatever or like bad can stick that that sticks to you from other people because mm -hmm. i know other people have bad intentions mm -hmm. some people might so that's why i don't, I don't really Socialize yeah, that I know much. what you mean. I don't socialize that much. <laughs> or like, if you're not religious, you know, some people a lot uh, believe in like the power of the powers of crystals, and yep. like incense and um, 
sage don't 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 we don't the catholics use sage too or like religious the other religions use sage they could yeah i remember when the father came to our house he 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 like i think it was sage maybe i don't Did know he really i don't remember really but I, I i think from what i remember could be it could be um but yeah i mean and then obviously there's other people that don't believe in that at all mm-hmm. so i mean it's, it's understandable Understandable, like honestly, like I respect whatever people believe in, what they don't believe in. Yeah, uh, I do that now too. Back then, when I was younger, I didn't. You didn't. You had no hope. I had no hope. Now I, I'm like, okay, yeah. Now that you're grown, you understand a little bit more. Well, yeah, it's like, it's like, I, I understand, and I'm also respectful towards other people's beliefs now. Yeah. Cause back then, I was like a little edgy person. I was like, ugh. But now I'm like, <gasps> have you seen? Sorry, kind of anyway. changing topics. But okay, have you seen? But not really. Have Have you seen those videos on TikTok where, like, where, like, in, like, the African culture, there's, like, the spirit that, like, um, comes to life? Like, have, have you not seen those where, where, where it looks like there's, like, a straw, like, just, like, a straw bed, right? Mm-hmm. Like, this huge, like, hay straw bed. All of a sudden, it stands up and it starts walking around. Yeah! yeah. And, like, dancing around, no? Yes, dancing around, mm-hmm. yes. And then, um, and then I, I guess there was another video that I saw that, like, it, that there was this thing. It looked kind of humanoid. Mm-hmm. It looked human, but it, it looked it looked like it had like just like decorations on it and stuff like, and it looked it looked like a, like a villager, but it like the villagers like they had like you know shirts and stuff and shorts, and then there were like kids like running around like being chased by it, and then people were just recording it, and then I think that's part of like the ritual that 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 like entity comes up comes up and it just starts chasing all these kids. I think it's playful, no? I guess. Mm, uh, from what I've heard, that I've I've also I've also seen seen TikTok stories where they say that like. That like I think this girl's brother was getting beaten up by one because they yeah dude I'm because because like if you because like he had because he was from the U S right and then then he went to go oh was see, he being disrespectful I guess either being disrespectful or part of the or part of their culture is that you have to run from that thing because it because it, it will sorry not thing that entity I don't want to be disrespectful because I don't want yeah, anything to happen you know like as long as you didn't mean it with malintent yeah you're fine. no so I, that, that entity like just like like he he went up to it. And then, oh, and then he and then he noticed everybody okay. was keeping their dis their distance, but then so it, but then because you know like they're inhuman, mm-hmm. so they're stronger than, than actual people. So mm-hmm. he was like beating him up, and then like his his uncle had to come and, be, and try to talk to it and say, you know what, hey, calm down. He's not from here. He did he, he didn't know any better. Like you know, mm-hmm. stop. And then but he he still didn't stop. So then then the uncle had to fight it too to get to get the guy away. <laughs> And then I remember that there was this one uh, other like video on TikTok where this girl was uh. like. This girl was upset because she was saying she's all like, "My husband tried to kill me with that because because um her her husband w- when they went to go visit her husband told mm-hmm. her go pose with it, so then she went and she posed with it and the entity was actually I I guess he was in a playful mood or something because he because he posed with her, he didn't attack her or anything but usually yeah. they would be attacking people so, yeah, no, so nobody would come close to it, but it's part of like their ritual like there would be a whole bunch of people just like mm-hmm. around it, like just like watching a dance, and then I I guess like. I'm not sure what what goes into it, mm-hmm. or or what or what they gain from it, or mm-hmm. what. I think it's probably something to do with their ancestors. Or okay, yeah. Like we like kind of like kind of like how like the other the los muertos is like oh, okay. is, is like us like um, placing our, our respects and giving like our, our, dead our relatives, loved, our dead relatives, or yeah, just like ancestors. like fruit or like oh, yeah, or, like, or, like their favorite like chorus meal, yeah. Mm-hmm. Or, like some people like they love alcohol, so they just put like tequila there, or like pan dulce on their grave, yeah, or like just like bread, yeah, 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 yeah okay. you know, on the, or on their altar, yeah. If we're, if we're not close to them, and then uh, if they're there, then they put it like on their grave site. Yeah, I think it's something kind of to do like that, but I'm not so sure. Mm-hmm. I haven't looked into it, but yeah, like it's just no. I have seen it, but I didn't know like fully in, into it. All I saw was videos of like of like the straw. It was like it looked like a straw man. Yeah. Like covered in straw. I thought it was a person in a costume, like just dancing around, and people were just like around it. Yeah, I thought so too. But then, yeah, then, then, then I, I started reading more into it or looking more into it, and mm-hmm. they were saying that no, that that's an entity. Yeah, that a spirit comes in it and it possesses like that, whatever like, they have it's like there. A, I feel like a costume, no? Probably, maybe. yeah. It like just takes the form inside of costume. Yeah, maybe. yeah, yeah. Because because like they they they've even shown like the the cameraman has even gone up close to it, and then they just showing that there's no human in there. Oh, does it that, spirit just that it's them? just like a stick and they're moving around. Yeah. I wonder what it, what they are. I don't. I don't want to call I'm them sure. an it. Cause yeah. Because yeah, it's like I just say entity. I so wonder. I, yeah, is, is are they an entity or like are they actually like spirits or? It could, uh, see that's why I'm like oh I'm not sure I, I just say I'll entity. I'll say them because it could be a spirit. It could be 
something else. Mm-hmm. But yeah, like they're yeah they're, they're a little like violet, and I guess like it depends on how you approach it. I feel like technically they're not from what I am um, hearing, they're not bad spirits, but you have to have some sort of respect for them. Yeah, that's why. And they'll respect you back, or they'll just leave you alone. Which I get. I respect the hustle. Yes. (laughs) So, I mean, but I I just, yeah. So, I don't know how that tied into what we were just talking about. No, I know what you mean. I I find that really interesting. I was just saying that, oh, like, it's, and then, then, like, in the comment, people were saying, like, dang, girl, like, he, like, he, like, he really wants to divorce you or something, or or he, he's trying to go after life insurance, but the, the, the entity or spirit didn't, Luckily, did, did, they didn't were in a her. playful he, mood. He posed with her, Aww. and he looked like a human, you know? He, like, but he was in a costume, no? They were but, in a costume? Kind yeah, of, like, the, he, the but, he costume? Was, but he was, but he was kind of, like, he had, like, like, a different, like, attire, like, he had, like, a headband, he had, like, okay, some, yeah. like, armbands here, he had, like, different, like, dressing than they did. Mm. So, yeah, and I mean, the Would husband you? even posed with them, too, but then but then the lady did say that the, the kids, like, not coming close to them, and the kids are kind of, like, keeping their distance, you know? Yeah. I don't know if that's tradition for them, that, that the... You think, you think they, they would, actually they would, they would the beat up the kids? Uh, probably. Like, if they catch the kids, probably they do. Well, I mean, they're well, beating they're, up the, the, the girl's, well, the girl's children, brother. But they're children, so I don't know if they'll, if they'll like, be as tough as they were on... They're probably just, like... Like rough them around a little bit, probably, or, 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 or just to give them like good scare, I guess. Yeah, to it's humble like, them, like, I guess. It's like the kukui for Hispanics. Maybe yeah, to humble them, right? But like you see them, yeah. Okay. Oh, I re- I, I need a, I like I want to look into that because I find it so interesting. I like learning about this. Um, I have a question. Would you ever participate in that? I don't know. Well, like partic- like would you ever like just like watch? Like let's say you knew the rules to like not go near them, and like to like run away if they do like go near you. Cause that's a, from what I hear, like you have to run away. Yeah, um, I don't know. See, that's like, cause that's like a whole different culture. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Even if I didn't know the rules, I would not know if that would be okay. Like, cause their ancestors kind of protect them, and I don't know if they would be okay with me watching. Mm-hmm. So I and I have to be mindful of that too. Like, I don't know if I would want to yeah. be there in that. Like, and especially if it's like something so sacred to them. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't know if, if I wanted to like intrude in that. Mm-hmm. Cause you know I have to be respectful, and I would want somebody to be respectful. Of my culture and my beliefs too. So oh, yeah, that's why I'm like I don't know if I would. I probably wouldn't. I I would mm. probably be safer if I was like in a hotel room somewhere, probably. and I and I would just hear like you know like mm-hmm. hear about it after, cause yeah I would I would I would give them that that mm-hmm. space that space that they would need to perform that. Mm. I feel like I probably wouldn't either, unless I knew that the people that are participating and are hosting are okay with it and that they know that um, it's okay for me to do that. But mm-hmm. maybe not still, cause I feel I would feel bad. Like, this is not something I believe in. I feel like I do not belong here because, even though I respect it, I, s- I mean, I do believe in it. Cause I do see, I do see what's happening, but it's just that I'm not, like, a part of this culture. Yeah. Yeah, you know, cause it's like, cause you wouldn't want somebody to make a mockery out of your... My culture? Yeah, culture. Or, like, religion, stuff. yeah. Cause, yeah, cause I... I wouldn't either. I, I didn't know this, but I guess, like, our ancestors protect us cause we do you do some sort of, we do do some sort of, like... Uh, witchcraft, witchcraft. Yeah, did yeah. you didn't know that? Yeah, no, I didn't know and, that until and, I started seeing like videos on TikTok. And what we do is like um, white witchcraft because you know, like like the egg cleansing, mm-hmm. that's a form of like the white witchcraft. And our acid just protect us with using that. Or like, like I know there there was like my mom was like, um, she did this this like I don't know if it's ritual or something, but she did this thing when I first got my first job, mm-hmm. and um, she basically like gave me a folded up dollar bill. Mm-hmm. And she said, "Put this on your shoe." I don't know if she had done something to it, if she blessed it, or if she prayed over it, or something, or if she put something else on it. Mm-hmm. She said, "Put this on your shoe, your first day of work, and mm-hmm. then this will this will guarantee that you always have like a job, or or that the money will come in." Mm-hmm. So then, and then after I had that on my shoe, I put. It, she said, "Put it in your wallet." So I, till this day, I still have it in my wallet. Mm-hmm. That's really. No, yeah, I've seen that on TikTok too. But I've seen um, white people trying to do. Um, Caucasians, yeah, Caucasians. Sorry, <laughs> white people. Yeah. I've seen so, the I've seen Caucasian people doing like, it's always like a love spell supposedly. Uh, I wouldn't I, mess I, with that. I wouldn't mess with it either. I know, spells. I know it's um it's very dangerous and there's a lot of consequences that can backfire, and yeah, but no, I've seen them trying to do you know the honey method, on their tongue. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. So supposedly, since that's not for them, their ancestors cannot help them if it does backfire 
Okay, what, what is the honey method, just in case nobody else has heard of it? So the honey method is when you get a dollop of honey on your finger and basically draw a cross on your tongue with it. Oh. And you just think of that person that you want to, like, win over. Oh, okay, okay. And you, you and it's just to create, like, attraction to them? Mm, or so they kind of like to bound, like, bind them, I guess. I don't, I don't oh. really know, like, the full, like, um, steps, but all I know is that you get uh, a drop of honey on your tongue, I mean, on your, on your finger, and then just draw, like, a cross a few times on your tongue, and then, yeah. See, I would, I even mean no, like, no, I would mm. not do that, because I, I wouldn't want to force somebody to, no. like, be bound to, mm-hmm. to me like that, no, no, no. I mean, I think the only way I support it is if you're manifesting them instead. Yeah. Well, yeah manifesting, yeah. like, is different. Yeah, because, like, you're just, you're just, like, I mean, for me, manifesting is not really, like, forcing. It's just kind of, like, asking for it <laughs> for the, for, like, from the universe or, like, from whatever you believe in. Yeah. And, like, mm-hmm. if it's meant to be, then it happens. Yeah. It mm-hmm. just happens. Yep. Oh yeah. God. No, yeah. I, I, I did see... Well, I, I know what you're talking about. Because it... They... So, they basically have no protection. If, if anything happens, like, something will happen to them and it will backfire on them because nobody's protecting them. Mm-hmm. Like, their ancestors are not protecting them. And then for us, our ancestors protect us for that. So, it could be the same thing with, with like, the, in any other religion or any mm-hmm. other, like, um, culture. When their ancestors protect them. That's why I said I would not... I would not watch uh, that uh, ritual happening. Mm. Mm-hmm. I like the full, full ritual. Because you see yeah. the part of it uh, on TikTok. Oh, on TikTok, yes. But you see, it, it's it's because I'm, I'm just scrolling along and it happens, like, you know. Mm. And I, I just see the part. I feel like yeah. as long as you're not disrespectful, you're yes. fine. Yes. Uh, so, yeah, yeah, I mean, we totally did a whole change on what we were talking about. Are, are you done with your story, Angie? Actually, actually you want to hear a little fun fact? What? So, um, did I ever tell you that somebody tried doing, um, black magic on me what the heck no but she she wasn't hispanic she was um she is my bad she's native american but she tried doing hispanic witchcraft on me dude i would oh my gosh but what happened are you okay yeah i'm okay it didn't work actually it backfired on her she got in a car crash dude so that's her fault so you need to pray we need to cleanse you matches got me your answer just got you. Girl, we're gonna make sure that you are clean. We need to make, like, the end cleanse. I think the, I We need to do the egg cleansing on you or something. Because nothing bad get... happened to me. Everything bad happened to her, and I was like, oh, that's what you get. Because then, uh, I know her mother. Her mother don't like her. Her mother was like, yeah, she tried doing this, and I was like, mm-hmm. That's what she gets. Dang. Mm-hmm. That's crazy. Oh my gosh, Angie, what the heck? What? I had no idea you were, you were a victim of this sort of... I don't know either. I don't really know her. <laughs> I, don't why she, I don't know why she wants to be dead. I don't think she wants me dead, but, like, I think she just wanted some, something to, like, to hurt me or, like, to, um, just scare me. But. You probably did something she didn't like. What did I do, though? I, I don't, don't talk to her. I don't really talk to her, like. Maybe I, she tried being your friend and you're like, don't talk to me. Or maybe because you're probably. so quiet and she tried talking to you once and you didn't want to talk to her. So she's like, oh, she thinks she good? She too good for me? No, I'm just so. scared of people. <laughs> I don't like, inter- like, yeah. that was in school. I would mind my own business. And pe- if people talk to me, then I would talk to them back. But Maybe she thought. I'm gonna I'm gonna get hurt because she looks easy like an easy yeah. target. And then and guess what happened? She got in a car crash. Oh my gosh, that's so sad. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I did not. I had not. I had no idea this happened to you. I I I didn't know either until like. See, that's why you gotta be. Well, that was be mindful. Because like, for her, she was like, if I try doing like Hispanic witchcraft on her, it'll work on her because she's Hispanic. And I was like, okay. Anyways. Okay. We took a whole turn. It was from this story, girl. Where how did this come about? I know, and we're, we're the original story was only nine minutes to read. <laughs> Look at it. So long. Okay, Ig. Okay, so let me let me finish. Anyways, let me let me finish. Okay. I'm sorry. Okay, so <clears throat> back to our scheduled programming. <sighs> the distorted screaming lasted until eight minutes and a few seconds in, and then it abruptly cuts to Mickey to the Mickey Mouse face at the credits. Of the end of every video with that sounded like a broken music box playing in the background. This happened for about 30 seconds and whatever was in the remaining 30 seconds I haven't been able to get a silver of information about. From a security guard working under me who was making rounds outside of that room, I was told that after the last frame, the employee stumbled out of the room with pale skin saying, real suffering is not known, seven times before speedily taking the guard's pistol and offing himself on the spot. The thing I could get out of Leonard Moulton was that the last frame was a piece of Russian text 
that roughly said the sights of hell brings its viewers back in as far as i know no one else has seen it but there has there have been dozens of attempts at getting the file on rapid share by employees inside the studios all of whom have been promptly terminated of their jobs whether it got online or not is up to debate but rumor serve rumors serve me right it's online somewhere under suicide mouse dot avi if you ever find a copy of the film i want you to never view it and to contact me by phone immediately regardless of the time when a disney death is covered up as well as this it means this has to be something huge give back to me tr i've yet to find a copy of this but it is out there i know it so this is like technically written as like an email i guess okay he signed it at the bottom yeah yeah Ooh, so this is giving not like it's kind of like suicide square wood but not really because uh, it reminds me of smile dog too yeah i was gonna say it also comes up as like that chain yeah so like mickey mouse doesn't commit anything doesn't he he doesn't hurt himself anyway but something with it with this video or the way it's displayed out um Mm -hmm. makes the viewer harm themselves Mm -hmm. so it's in a way it's like smile dog because smile dog cause you to go insane right Mm -hmm. and so like to the point where you try to off yourself so this kind of happened to this one person that was viewing it Mm -hmm. yep the the person that um he was an employee and like the guy that was in charge what's his name he couldn't he couldn't stomach it so he was like hey how about you go watch it for me and the play's like okay because i guess that's his boss yeah and he's like okay and he did and yeah he ended up killing himself sadly because it was so traumatizing yeah but yeah what do you think of the story i think well i mean i think it's it's okay mm-hmm. you know it's pretty okay yeah not that um bad not that gruesome like the not other that, stories yeah. you've said like surprisingly like detail, it's not that gruesome yeah. surprisingly detail yeah wise. yeah like not that gruesome as other stories that you've read mm-hmm. to me it's okay you know i, mm-hmm. I don't feel like garen or anything like it'll i feel like i don't know if i'll if i see the video i'll probably understand why it was a little more disturbing mm-hmm. But it's fan-made, so supposedly, you know, I feel like fan-made is never that disturbing. Yeah, like, it doesn't... I mean, it gets the point across a little bit, but it yeah. doesn't have the same effect as when you... Because, I mean, I'm kind of prepared for it, because I kind of know what to expect mm. after listening to this. Because they have, like, a description, basically. But if it's, a, if it's a video, I have no idea what to expect, and I just see all this, I'll find disturbing, because I don't know... I don't know what's coming up mm. next. But, you know, I kind of understand what... if I Like, if I look for it on YouTube, I'll kind of understand what I'm looking for. Mm. But, yeah, so, I mean, it's... A, it's fine. It's yeah. Good. I mean, I like it. I don't know why I like it. It's not that, um, well, I find it interesting, but it's, it's like, detail-wise, it's not that interesting. Like, it's written well, but, yeah, I feel like if this was, like, written, if, if there was more details added into this, like, an actual story, it would have been cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's it. That's all I have to say for today. That's for today? Mm-hmm. Oh, my gee. We really went on a big, deep hole of, I don't know, huh, this I feel episode. Like dur- we need, we just need one episode. We need one episode to just talk about stuff like that. I get so interested in it. Like, I find this interesting, too, but I just want to talk about stuff like that. Yeah, because we went on a whole tangent. I know. We need, and, we and need based one off of, uh, Based off of what? Like, what topic we, need- we started it? We, we, we went on this whole tangent based off a possible demonic video. And we just went off to, like, a whole different culture. Yeah. Different. I feel like we need another bonus video, Erica. Probably, yeah. Yeah. So maybe soon. Maybe Maybe soon. We never know. If we have, if we can, if we have time. Yes, I know. My schedule's a little little messed up right Mm -hmm. now, but it'll get better. Yeah. We'll get better soon. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that's it for today, right, Angel? If Mm -hmm. you want to add something else. Nope, that's it. For today, thank you for listening to us and our jumbled... I ju- I ju- my jumbled thoughts because I was yeah. just like oh here and I just added on yeah <laughs> thank you for listening to it again follow us on our social medias yeah if you Instagram yes. TikTok yes and, and if not Facebook. then I mean you know like it on whatever platform you're right here yeah you're on. listening to yeah so that way you get updates whenever a new mm-hmm. one gets up comes up and yeah that's it yeah. for today thank you for listening bye bye.